In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a full width header. And essentially what we're going to do is create an image uh, that spans behind the header the full width of the browser window. And it'll give your site a much different look than the standard flex squeeze appearance. The first thing we want to do is go into the flex squeeze theme options under the header tab and there's a couple options that we need to change. The first one is the transparent header. Set that to yes. And the header background image, set that to none. And I'll save the changes and do a refresh to show you what we just did. Now we took out the image and the background color and the border around the header. Now the next thing that I want to do is go into the navigation options and I'm just going to put it below and you can do this exact same technique whether your navigation is above or below your header and you can see we have a little gap here between the top of the search box graphic and the browser window so to get rid of that we'll go in into the background borders tab and under the blog top margin option we're going to set that to zero and we'll do a refresh and now that gap is gone and the last thing we want to do is go into the navigation and there's an option right here called remove border and this option was specifically built into the theme uh, for what we are doing in this tutorial. So if you change that to yes, save the changes, and refresh, you can see the navigation now does not have a border around it. And that's going to allow us to put an image behind it and seamlessly transition from the image into the navigation background. We won't have a border around that. Now I'm going to go in, I'm going to change the look of the navigation a little bit. And this will just give us a gray navigation bar with a different button and hover state. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to press the print screen button on my keyboard and that's going to take a screenshot of my monitors and that'll give us the graphic that we need to use to create the background image. Now I'm switching over to Photoshop and I'm just going to go File, New, and it already has the dimensions of the screenshot that I took. So I'm just going to click OK and do a Control V. I'm going to paste in my screenshot that I took of my two monitors. And I'm just going to crop this down to what we need to work with. and we actually only need to use a small portion of this because the image that we're going to create we're going to set that to repeat horizontally across the top of the blog so we actually only need a small section of the image so I'm just going to create a box and you can set your gradient properties on the shape and I'm using a shape here as opposed to a bitmap um, it gives us a little more flexibility in creating the colors but if you go to your shape layer and right click you'll have a blending options and when you go into that you can actually go into the gradient overlay and control the colors that you're using on the site. So let's change this. Let's go with a blue color scheme. And that'll give us a blue gradient, as you can see there. 
Now what we're going to do is crop down the image just to the header and the navigation part that we need to span across our background. So I'm just taking the selector tool and I'm selecting from the very bottom of the navigation to the top of the browser window and I'm just going to crop the image and that's the image that we are going to export and then import back in WordPress. So I'll go File, Save for Web and Devices and you can choose your file type. I'm going to use a JPEG and I'm going to take the quality up a little bit just to make sure we have a nice smooth gradient and click Save and it's asking me to overwrite and I will replace the one I had in there already and now we're going to go back into WordPress into our media in the add new and I'm going to select the file that I just created and it's uploaded now and I'm just going to copy the full file URL and do a control C and now we're going to jump back into the flex squeeze options and you would think it would go in the header as maybe the header background image but what we're actually doing is using a custom background image so under the blog background custom image I'm just going to highlight this delete it and go control V and I just pasted in the file URL that we copied from when we uploaded the image to the media library and in the next option the custom background image repeat our choices are repeat which goes both horizontal and vertical repeat X which repeats it across the top of the site repeat Y repeats it vertically and centered you could use that if you were maybe adding some drop shadows to your to your site and no repeat would be used if you had a larger image that you want centered behind the the site so we just want the repeat X and the last option we need to set is in the blog background image we need to tell the theme that we're using a custom image so clear down at the bottom we go custom background image we'll save the changes switch over to our site and do an F5 refresh and you can see our image is now placed but there's something going on here because there is a little bit of a color difference between our image and our navigation and the reason for this is if you have the fade turned on in the background that layer actually sits on top of the background so that fade is actually making the image that we created darker so we need to go into the show background top gradient option and say no we're going to turn that off switch back to our site F5 refresh and there's our image and our navigation blends seamlessly with our new background image so that's a way that you can create some really different looks for your site and you could even if you wanted to keep the, the gradient in the background you can put that in the image that we're spanning across the background so you can do a lot of different effects and it's really quite easy to do once you do it once and that's all there is to creating a full-width header image in FlexSuite